morning guys how y'all doing today hope you're doing better than i am today frost has gotten loose and he's roaming my neighborhood we have looked or i have looked up and down the road and cannot find him we uh or i i don't know why i'm saying we i guess somebody's with me an angel or something but uh i have i seen him down at a neighbor's around a neighbor's property and he went up in the woods i seen the tail his tail i know it's him though because it's i know my dog and he's the only great pyrenees around my neighborhood so he uh, he went up into the woods and disappeared and couldn't find him and there's a little stray girl dog that's running around been running around here since summer and she i seen her and now I, and then she disappeared and i ain't seen them either one i know they say great pyrenees is, they tend to roam and but they always come back home and stuff like that but where we're not in a big piece of land we're in a congested neighborhood i um, mean we've got a lot of woods and stuff but we got a lot of people who lives close to each other and i'm afraid that He's going to get a neighbor's house, and a neighbor's going to shoot him, and we, or some of the neighbors we have around here ain't the best of people, and I'm not judging nobody or nothing, but it is what it is. They, they're rogues and druggies and, you know, that's pretty much every neighborhood in the state of Kentucky, uh, ex with the exception of few, but... Knowing these neighbors like I know them, they would either keep Frost or they would take him and try to sell him for drug money or for money uh, or just keep him for selfish purposes because, you know, around here, Great Pyrenees is a sought after dog. And him being a big, majestic-looking dog like he is, I'm afraid it's going to happen. And I'm afraid also, you know, if somebody shoots him, because if he was, he's not, he's a gentle dog, and he don't fight unless he has to. But if him and another dog was to get in a fight, um, maybe the person, the owner of that person, or the owner of that dog, would maybe shoot Cobra once they quit fighting. <laughs> you never know. So I, I am uh, kind of heartbroken, aggravated, and everything this morning. So my day's not going too well. And I was supposed to do my coffee this morning, but everything's been interrupted, so I ain't got to have that either. But uh, I have been looking since... Well, let's see here what time it is. It's uh, 10, 11. I have been driving up and down the road for the last two hours. And I have found him once. He's disappeared and I ain't been able to find him again. And I'm, my blood, well, you can see my cheeks is red. So I'm aggravated. I'm stressed. So guys, if, if he ain't home... By the time this video's out, and I'll let you know in the comments whether he is or not, um, please be praying that he comes home or we find him. Today is Wednesday, so he I sh this video should be up by Thursday, and hopefully we can get him. But, you know... It's just been stressful. Guys, we will catch you later and we'll give you some updates in this video as we go. If he's made it, excuse me, if, if he's made it home or not, so. See you later. Well, guys, I went driving around Flatlick again. 
around the neighborhood and couldn't find him. And I guess we've lost him. Just something simple as a gate latch coming up. And I really love that dog. And you all loved him too. But that's the way it goes, I guess, sometimes. I was hoping he would be around us. We seen the girl dog. Or I seen the girl dog. Here I go seeing we again. Uh, I seen the girl dog. She, uh, some of her neighbor's dogs was barking, and I got up chicks with this barking at, and they was looking over there at her, you know, across the other neighbors. And, um, well, I seen the girl dog peek her head out. And I figured, well, he's, he's probably near. No, nope, not such luck. I started dog barking. We went down to some other neighbors. I got a lot of good neighbors looking for him. And I said, if you see him around your house or anything, let me know. And uh, I told him, I said, he's a baby. He, you know, he ain't going to hurt nothing. They said, well, we'll let you know. <sighs> but, uh, the only dog I've got is Cold Bear. He's been my only dog. We've had him eight years. Uh, this November made eight years. We've had him. And, uh, you know, he's a good old dog. He's He's got problems with chasing vehicles and seems a little rowdy with people you know but I don't think he's ever beat anybody as far as I know people sure are afraid of him that's for sure and I hate that but he's good with the kids he's good with my kids and stuff like that and he's just an old dog you know he's I love him and if something happened to him I, I Thought for sure we've lost him a few times. He's been gunshot with a 12 gauge. Luckily, it was just a little bird shot and it wasn't terrible, lethal, deadly, and it's far away. If it had been buckshot or something like that, it would have been a goner or a slug. He got better from that. When we first got him, he was probably a year old and he got ran over. Truck ran completely over top of him. Luckily, it was a Ford Ranger and it was the back end that caught him. And uh, the winter back up is raining. Luckily, the back end caught him and it didn't hurt him too bad, just caught him sore. Well, we, um, we, um, doctored him, got him better, and then my sister and all, he wouldn't move and he was laying behind her door and he ran, she ran over him. Luckily, it didn't hurt him too bad, but he ran off in the woods and disappeared for a few days, and we thought for sure he was gone then. Look, I've even got Frost's hair all over me. But Frost was is a special dog. We, you know, we paid money for him. We've got a lot invested in him. You know, he's my lap dog. And now he's gone. He's just like taking care of a fourth kid. I mean, he's into everything. You got to correct him. You got to discipline him. You got to teach him. But he was so smart. He would uh, lay down for you. And when you told him to, he'd give you his paw. And he'd jump on you. And he would sit. He'd go to the door and scratch when he had to use the bathroom. I mean, he was a very, very good dog. And it looks like now he's gone. He's lost forever. I, I sat around for about an hour and just couldn't stand it. And 
every thump I heard or anything like that, I'd go out and look, see if he was out there. You know, look, you know, it's in town where he's at by now. He could be on the plum other side of our community, which is, you know, our community's huge. And, um, you've got these mountains, and we've got a lot of mountains and forest here. So, it's in town where he's at. And he's also people friendly. So if somebody stopped and petted on him, he'd probably hop in the vehicle with him. So, he's probably gone, guys. And that's it. I'm sorry for the bad news and stuff like that, but, you know, it's... When you love a dog and you've got attached to him for so long... You know, it's not as bad as losing a loved one, but, you know, especially when they go missing and you don't know where they're at and you don't know what's happened to them, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking. I'm sorry. And I would say have a big bear day, guys, but... Okay, but I do love you, and um, pray for him to come back if that's still possible. But I'll see you later. I can't even say like and subscribe, so just do what you want to. Well, guys, look who it is. He is wet, a big wet mess. Also, he is muddy and he is black. Look at him. What? You ain't got no reason to be happy. I do, but I'm also mad at you. Oh goodness, guys. I tell you what, I thought I'd lost my dog. I love him. Cole Bear, you can let him out and you'll let him go and he'll go where he knows it's safe and he'll come home. This feller, he don't know no better and he's so friendly. You never know what happened to him, so I fear for him more. And there he is. Guys, and you can tell in this video, it's an up and down roller coaster video. We, we lost Frost, but good news in the end, we found him, and guys, I can say right now, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm a lot happier. I'm aggravated, but I'm a whole lot happier, and uh, guys, now I can say, I was going to end it before until we found him, now I can say, have a big bear day, guys, and like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. <laughs> Because I'm happy. Man, I thought I'd lost my dog. And you know, there ain't nothing like a man's dog. <laughs> or a boy's dog, as far as that goes. But guys, we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. I'm not letting him outside of this house unless he's on a leash. Or, or a fence or something. <laughs> but guys, like and subscribe for real this time. Make sure you... Uh, Hit that notification bell and share us with whoever you want to share us with. And guys, we'll see you hopefully in the next video. And uh, <laughs> have a big birthday! <laughs>